The latex helps commemorate um, the history of place of this particular structure. So when I use it and I, and I layer it on the structure, it takes a imprint of, of everything that, that happened. So it kind of maps the history of that structure. Because of its ability to make an imprint of what was there, it maps the past. Uh, for example, there's bullet holes you can see. It shows the grain of the wood. It shows the shingles. Uh, it's captured graffiti that existed uh, on the original structure. And it also captures the smell of the place. Um, by it being reconfigured in the gallery space, it deals with the present situation. It deals with, it's now become an artwork. So, and, it, and it's also, it's no longer vertical. It's, per, it's um, horizontal, it's, it's limp. So that's the present. And the way I've made it is that it's site responsive. So each gallery space where it exists, I reconfigure it according to that gallery space. So this latex has the ability to, to represent both the past, the present, and the future. This work relates to my body of work in, in two ways. One is in material form. Um, I've been working with latex for a while, since 2001, where I've um, been casting, making imprints of dysfunctional architecture. So architecture just before it's been torn down, architecture that once held a very prestigious place in a community and has lost that position. Um, very much like the lighthouse. And it also relates to my body of work conceptually. So I'm interested in taking things like a monument and making it less so, making it soft, making it horizontal instead of figurative, making it relate to the body, the body the way, the size that it is, my body and your body. And I'm also interested in um, what memorials mean to us today.